Hey, in this video I will show you how we test the process of creating vendors and validating their payment terms in executive automats. So first we need to create a script which will create a vendor in Dynamics 365 FO. This is really simple. We just record going through the process in the system. So let's create a vendor and fill out the necessary fields. Terms of payment is an important field because we want to validate it in the script so we need to use the picker option on this field to get its value and save it as a variable terms of payment. Okay, now that we have everything that we wanted, we need to hit stop and save the recording. Let me show you how easy it is to edit the script. First, we'll need to create a number sequence for vendor account values, which have to be unique. We go into the settings tab then sequences and add. We enter the name and format and click create. Next, we need to assign this sequence to step number four, which is entering the value of vendor account. Now let's assign an Excel file to the script and use the data from it to fill out some other fields. We'll use it for vendor name, work group, address, and currency. Next, we need to create the validation of the terms of payment field. So let's define variables, which will be used in the script. We'll use the one we recorded and a new one which will take values from the Excel file. For that, we'll need to add an assign step to our script, which will assign values from our Excel file to the variable terms of payment from Excel. Now that it's done, we need to add a crucial step, which will be a conditional, which will validate if the value from terms of payment field is equal to the values I prepared in the Excel file. If the values are equal, we want the script to continue. And if not, we want it to stop and show an error message. And for the final step, let's just add a simple loop so that the script will go through all the rows in the Excel file and create exactly three vendors. Okay, we've got everything ready, so let's play it. The script will now start to create vendors based on the data from Excel and number sequence we created. It'll also validate the terms of payment field in each vendor. The first vendor has been created and validated successfully and now the script started creating the second one. Looks like everything is fine here as well. And now the last vendor and we've made it so that the validation will fail. The script will show an error message and stop. Yes. And now we can go to the history tab of the script and see how it executed. We can see right away that the script terminated and has an error status. When we go to the details, we can see that it was the validation that failed. Creating and executing this script took less than 15 minutes. We'd like to show you more videos like this, so please let us know which business process in Dynamics 365 for finance and operations or for sales you would like to see tested next. Simply comment below this video. Okay, thanks for watching. And if you're interested, please visit executiveautomats.com and schedule your free live demo.